Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Monk's Flame Blade, a curved greatsword that honestly does well on a variety of builds. I tested a whole bunch of different infusions with their respective stat allocations, and the Heavy Infusion does get the highest AR when two-handed at 679. The Keen Infusion on a Dexterity build gets a better AR one-handed than the Heavy version by about 10 AR. And then we have the third option, which is what I went with, which was the Cold Infusion, which has a little bit less damage output than the Heavy version when two-handed, but it does have more damage output when one-handed than both the Keen and the Heavy Infusion. And you also get a Frostbite buildup of 127 on this weapon, which is very effective when you plan to use do-wield setups, and I plan to both two-hand and do-wield the weapon for the showcase. As for the choice of talismans, I'm going to be using the Shard of Alexander to boost all the different Ashes of Ore. We have the Claw Talisman because I am a fan of the jump attacks with Curved Great Swords, and then we have the Crimson Armor Medallion Plus 2 and the Great Jars Arsenal for the HP and Equip Load Boost. Now, taking a look at the moveset, the light attack chain is that of the Curved Great Sword, so you do have the diagonal slashes. The heavy attack is the horizontal slash, followed by the 360 horizontal slash. If you fully charge the second part of the heavy attack, you do get the double 360 slash. The first part of the heavy attack is not changed based on fully charging it or not, the animation is the same. The jumping light is the horizontal slash and the jumping heavy the slam down. I prefer to use the horizontal slash, you all probably know this by now, it's easier to fight multiple opponents with, and I get more roll catches by delaying it towards the end of the jump. The running light, horizontal slash, and the running heavy is the 360 slash. Again, I'm more of a fan of the running light, easier to manually aim and catch people off guard with. The backstep running attack, pretty similar to the regular running light, just you swing the sword from a different angle. The rolling and the crutch attack is the 360 slash. I do find that useful on some occasions. If I happen to stun someone with a light attack, I can crouch towards them to make them panic roll and try and catch that with the 360 slash. As for the dual wield moveset, the neutral light attacks are a little on the slow side. They have very good range and their damage output is very high though. So if you can manually aim them to where your opponent's going to be and catch them that way, the damage output is well worth it. And then you have the running do wield attack, which is a double slash. Very effective, honestly. I feel like people panic roll this one a little bit early all the time just because of the way you put the swords behind you before doing the slash animation. The jumping do wield attack, good on most do wield setups, especially curved great swords. Really high damage, the recovery is very fast, the range is really good, and it can't be parried, so it's a great opening move. And then you have the rolling and the crouch do wield attack, which is slower consecutive slashes. Although, you, again, you can manually aim this to try to throw off your opponent's timing if they're used to your regular slashes. The backstep running attack is a 360 slash, a pretty big hitbox, and the timing definitely throws off your opponent. Again, if you get them stunned and you backstep towards them, you can try to get a panic roll catch with that. While do wielding, you also have access to the one handed moveset, so you can still do the regular neutral light attacks, you can still do the heavy attack, and the fully charged version where you get the double 360 slash. The Monk's Flame Blade is also a regular Smithing Stone upgrade weapon, so you do have access to interchangeable Ashes of War. I'm going to be starting off with Wild Strikes. I find this really good for aggressing opponents, has really good hyper armor so you can trade into some things, and then you can do one of the two follow-ups afterwards if you feel like they're going to land. And then in the offhand, we just have the Raptor of the Mists. Always good on curved great swords, I find. Whether you're two-handing it or using the dual wield setup, if you're in a jump attack animation, it's very easy to roll catch your opponent, whether you do it right away at the peak of the jump or towards the end of it. So Raptor of the Mist is one of my favorite Ashes of War, honestly. Alright, I guess that's all I really have to say about the weapon. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Alright, jumping into our first battle, we have Sing. Hello there, man. What is up? How are you? Uh, okay, I'll get my buff going. Alright, what do we got? Full int build. Interesting. Got the Moonlight Greatsword with... Oh, <laughs> Quick Step on the Greatsword. Oh, well, Bloodhound Step specifically. Um... See how that works. The distance on that is going to be interesting. Thought he might try to trade into this. We got one hit off. The frostbite buildup is pretty high as well, so we keep the pressure. Oh, we almost all caught that. Hey. Oh, oh, <laughs> I got the frostbite. I think, I think, two HP, two HP in a dream. Oh, <laughs> and then we hit with wild strikes. Wow, the timing was actually perfect with that. I actually expected him to roll enough away from it, but it came out pretty quick. <laughs> Could have finished with the heavy. Jumping into our next battle, we found Link. Hello there, Link. Hey, Welcome, hey. my friend. Welcome. Today you are facing Curve Greatswords, the Monk's Flame Blade, but it is cold infused. The cold Monk's Flame Blade. All right, so he's got his greatsword. The initial Banish Knight. Oh, we already got the Frostbite buildup right there. These have really fast Frostbite buildup, actually. Really throws me off. <laughs> okay, that lasts kind of longer than I thought it would. 
We avoid the Banished Knight. Jumping R1. Oh, he's got curved swords. We do have the hyper armor to go through that, though. Uh, a little out of range. It's a good combo, though. It's just unfortunate. Uh, the lava might be good. <laughs> when we both go for the same thing at the same time, but we both miss instead. Oh, that pulled you out of the air. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. I thought they, I thought Link was going to jump that. Wild Strikes has unbelievable hyper armor, though. Wow. I was wondering if uh, Storm Stomp would poise break that. It doesn't. Good to know. <laughs> Very fun fight, Link. All right, jumping into our next battle, we have Blades. Hello there, Blades. What's up? Got the Eleonora's Pole Blade, I believe, and uh, some buffs. Anti-magic. Interesting. Is that what that was? That kind of looked like it. I look like a wizard build. It's interesting because I, I am doing a little bit of magic damage since my weapons are cold and fused. <laughs> uh, incantations? Madness. Oh. Oh, thought he was a little bit to the left. <laughs> Some bombs as well. Oh, he's got the volcano one. I was going to aim it where you were going to be, Blades. I missed. So did you, though, to be fair. We have not touched each other yet. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe, okay, we're probably going to open with Sword Dance as my way to hit it. Yeah, we get Hyper around of it. And also Frostbite buildup. Oh, I thought that might make him panic roll. Oh, we get the roll catch with the crouching roll attack. And then we get the roll catch with the crouch one-handed attack. Very fun fight, Blades. Interesting. I don't see the Ilionor's pull blade too much. Moving on to our next battle, we have... Hmm, I died. Hello there. What do we have? He has an axe. What axe is that? Is that the Stormhawk axe? Get your buff going, sir. Oh, we're going Curve Greatsword. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Curve Greatsword, Curve Greatsword. I actually enjoy those fights. It's all good spacing. He's got the Beastman Cleaver. Try to get the roll catch there. Oh, we didn't get it. I go for third ones. <laughs> I just kind of rotate around my body using the R1s. <laughs> well, what a unique Ash of War you have there, sir. <laughs> I think I also will dabble <laughs> in the spinning slash. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Now we can mix it up on him. Uh, now we have Raptors of the Mist. Although I do want the cold to be gone just in case he hits us through it. It can sometimes... <laughs> yeah, that worked. That worked well. Oh, I missed that one though. Oh, I really thought that was going to connect. Oh, we did get the roll catch with the crash attack. Okay. That's when sometimes the delayed attack comes in handy. The roll a little bit early. Very fun fight, though. Jumping into our next battle, we have Giovanni. Hello there. Hey. How's it going, Giovanni? Interesting. Hey. He's got a katana. Do you think it's Rivers of Blood? I can't tell from here. It looks pretty red. Giovanni, you have no buffs? You look like you have an incantation in your offhand. No? Okay. No buffs. Just straight katana play. R1 to backstep. <laughs> my jump attacks have been pretty <coughs> poorly aimed. Excuse me. Oh, my throat. I don't know what I just choked on, but... Pain. <laughs> Geo... Oh, now my... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm like dying IRL over here. <laughs> Okay, we're good. I think we're good. Uh, we also have Horror Frost Stomp as the Ash 4. Get us some Frostbite build up there. That actually worked pretty well. Go back into the Frostbite build up, Giovanni. Oh, and we got the roll catch. Very fun fight, man. <laughs> I was playing a little bit uh, defensive there while I tried to survive. <laughs> Very fun fight, though. Moving on to our next battle, we have... Ball! Hello there, man. Hey. I actually remember having a fight with Ball. Hello there. Two great swords. Nice. Nice, Ball. Uh, let's get our buffs going. Did you have cold great swords? I'm trying to remember. I think... I think Ball did. Alright, let's see. I'll open with a jumping light. See how Ball reacts to that. 
Maybe we can get a roll catch. Oh yeah, Ball's Flask had the regen from the magic absorption. My hits are still doing more damage though. So like, they were still worth it to do even though he had the buff going. Let's try an R2. Not slow enough. <laughs> you don't see that too often anymore, so... I feel like it's nice to use Orfrost on from time to time. Now he's expecting Horfrost Stomp, but we still have Raptors of the Mist. Oh. Oh, that was weird. I missed. My surprise attack wasn't so much of a surprise attack, apparently. <laughs> I was hoping to get like better damage output out of that, but that didn't seem to be the way. Or Frost Stomp in someone's face, because that's effective in any way. <laughs> Oh, the backstab dual attack does have an interesting 360 attack. That catches a lot of people off guard. Very fun fight though, Bao. Alright, jumping into our final battle. We have Fasto. Hello there, Fasto. Full Radon cosplay with the bow and everything. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. I haven't seen anybody use a bow in the dual arena. And I mean good reason, right? Like, you'd have to start out pretty far in attack. No follow-up. How did you know that I was fishing the backstab Fasto? How did you know? Oh. Well. Oh, I hit you out there. Okay. We also have the pebble for range. That that mystified even me. I thought I was getting hit there. I guess... Okay, there's a little bit of latency. Okay, that might explain that, I suppose. That we got hit on, though. Oh. A backstab? Not a backstab. <laughs> Good attempt, though, on Fasto there. That was cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> the backstab attempt sometimes can get you so destroyed. Oh! Oh, he popped his bubble tier. I was, like, confused as to what I just saw. Out of FP! <laughs> Unfortunate time to be out of FP. But I do appreciate the full cosplay. Very fun fight. All right, now let's see how these perform in invasions. All right, jumping into our first invasion, we are in Crumbling Faramazula, right before the boss. Hello there, sir. Hello. Do you see me, sir? Hello? 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 My men. Hello. Hello there. Hello, we have a uh, Hinter Hino. Hinter Hino? Alright. Hinter of Hino. Got some chip damage there. <laughs> A backstab attempt was made. Was not connected. Sadly. <laughs> I think his range, he thinks, is like a little bit longer than it is. Bad trade, sadly. Pretty decent trade, honestly. Very fun fight, man. Pretty good build setup, though. The rapier and halberd is always a good setup. Fun fight. Alright, jumping into our second invasion. We are now in the Atlas Plateau. And we've invaded Bon Ledger. Alright. Hello there. Bon Ledger. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Hello. So we got double whips. And I'm not sure what Bon Ledger has. Oh, you want to have a fight with the whips? Okay, we can do that. We can do the whip fight. They're probably bleed infused because they are Hoslow's pedal whip, right? I'm assuming. Oh, that barely missed me. You almost tipped me with that. No bleed build up so far, though. No bleed build up at all, actually. No phantom hits. I wonder if my connection is very good or. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like some of these would hit like on a, a more latent connection. 
hard to say with like what's been going. He's fast rolling. Yeah, we got hit there. Good bleed build up, I guess. Eat the blood pellet. We at least have range. I wonder if I can manually aim that. I, I did I manually aim that or did I lock on last second? I don't know. Got the blood build up though. They have the beast roar on it. Oh, and we got the the ice the frostbite. <laughs> Bomb! Reset the frostbite. We missed. <laughs> well, somehow Denry just didn't dodge the bomb. <laughs> Very fun fight, Denry. Interesting. All right, Bond Ledger. Let's go. He's got a rapier. Probably fast roll as well. They're both fast roll builds. Which is interesting. We're just going to trade. That was not going in our favor at all. Fast roll can be pretty powerful. I got to watch out for that, for sure. And those rocks. Those rocks are the worst, man. They really are. We can't roll catch that, though, with a panic roll at all, unfortunately. You get the frostbite build up, that's kinda nice. I'm out of FP. <laughs> you drink the FP flask though. Sometimes the fast roll doesn't let you aggress well though. That can be a detrimental as well. No more chip damage from the rocks, so not today, not today. They come up very quickly though, they are very powerful. Oh, he broke his bubble tier. Oh, my bubble tier is gone, though. Ah, that's unfortunate. I didn't have the bubble tier because I fought the teammate. Not trading into Flaming Strike today, sir. Not today. Ah. Goodbye, sir. Very fun fight. That was almost a, a very powerful trade. You could have hit me with the rock that last time, but I got gotcha. you. <laughs> All right, jumping into our final invasion. We are in the mountain top. We're probably about to get fog walled, but uh, yeah. Maybe? Or does he want to fight? I can't tell. Oh no, they're here. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Not that. Not the chip damage of doom. Alright, so we got uh, Whis. Interesting. Some lightning casts. Oh, that's got some range. Here's my long range for you. <laughs> that didn't hit me. Alright, so we're going all wizardry right now. That hit me, though. We're gonna we're gonna do this on that. It's rough because when, even when you dodge that, you still don't dodge that. You know what I mean? It still chips you down. Alright, I guess I'm healing here. At least we're kind of safe from the dragon flame up here. He's got rivers of blood too. I don't know if they know that got nerfed a little bit, but... That can't hit up the hill, right? <laughs> well, he saved him. The blood loss here. <laughs> He did save them. Um, I bet you they'll fall for uh, Raptor of the Mists. Moonveil. I said there's entirely full Katana team here. But th that weird Ash of War is like, I mean, sorry, that incantation sometimes throws me off. I can almost two-shot him with that. Oh, 
Oh, he actually dodged it. Oh, but he didn't. <laughs> Unfortunate. Why are they both heavy rolling? They just want all the katanas, but I just want to point out the Rivers of Blood, the Moon Veil, and the Dragon Breath. <laughs> the trifecta. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Monk's Flame Blade. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep throwing your weapon recommendations below. I really appreciate it. It helps me plan ahead, and I really do enjoy reading the recommendations for weapons that I've never really thought of. But yeah, until the next video, thanks for watching. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.